Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to see about how to use YOLO V5 object detection on Windows. So we are going to install all the dependencies for this uh, YOLO V5 and uh, we are going to run it uh, in Windows 10 machine and in the end we are going to test it with a sample image and with a sample video. And that is the whole objective of this uh, video. And we are not going to touch any of the code part here because we are going to only use the YOLO V5 pre-trained model. So we are not going to touch any of the code materials here. So this will be useful for uh, users who wants to jump into object detection and uh, start using the application right away. So let's dive into the video. First, we have to download the repository for uh, YOLO V5. So this is the link for the repository. If you just uh, type it in uh, YOLO V5 uh, repo means uh, this is the first link you will be getting and uh, just download the whole uh, code repo uh, as a zip. And I already downloaded it and extracted it in the C drive currently. So this is the files I got. And after this, we have to set up our uh, environment and we are going to install PyTorch on the way. So in this uh, YOLO, you got all these files and apart from that, they also have some kind of uh, uh, testing setup so you can install these things directly and uh, run using this you can also open it in uh, collab and uh, test your uh, sample images if you want so this is just a quick start examples and they also have some uh, tutorials like how to use the custom data and uh, how to use other things using this uh, repository so you can definitely utilize this I'll also cover some videos in order to how to utilize this uh, in an easy way and here you can see the requirements uh, we need python uh, greater than 3.6 and uh, with pytorch 1.7 so these are the basic requirements and apart from that we have to install few modules in uh, requirements.txt so these are the modules we have to uh, install in order to run this program without any errors now after this we have to go for uh, python installation so for this, you can go for uh, Anaconda. So Anaconda contains all the machine learning libraries. If you don't know how to install Anaconda, you can click on the right top corner of this video in order to see the exact steps on how to install this uh, product. Here you can download this uh, Anaconda individual edition. And the alternate way apart from Anaconda is uh, using Python. So in Python, we are having latest version of Python 3.10, but it always better to go for uh, Python 3.8 now because um, I don't know whether uh, it supports uh, all the latest updates so it's better to go at least uh, two steps back that's why I'm uh, preferring like 3.8 or uh, 3.9 so to avoid uh, any further issues currently I am working on like 3.8 I guess so 3.9 also wo works fine so that's not a problem and again if you don't know how to install Python means you can click on the right top corner of this video to see the steps so that is done. So this is the basic uh, modules you have to install. And after that, you have to install this uh, Visual Studio. So here, if you don't want to install the whole Visual Studio means, you can, you can just scroll down and here you can just click on this tools for Visual Studio. And here, just download this uh, build tools for uh, Visual Studio. So here you can uh, install the necessary uh, modules like uh, Visual C++ and uh, some important modules that is uh, recommended uh, for the PyTorch. So mostly it is uh, Visual C++. So it will be around like four to five GB. You definitely need to install this uh, to avoid any errors. So try to install this. And after this, if you have NVIDIA GPU means you have to install this uh, CUDA toolkit. So this is a dependency if you have a GPU. If you don't have a GPU means uh, just ignore this step. You don't have to do this. So if you have the GPU means just click on this uh, Windows and uh, select the version that is Windows 10 and click on this local and just download it and install. So it will just an easy process for this installation. So after this restart your system once to avoid any errors. So after installing the toolkit, we have to install PyTorch because the YOLO V5 is built on top of uh, PyTorch. So we have to install PyTorch. Here you can uh, easily get the command for installing PyTorch. So I'm going to go for the stable build. I'm using Windows and 
and I'm going to get a pip command. I'm using Python. So based on the CUDA toolkit, like if you want to install, uh, if you have a CUDA 10 means just install this. If you have CUDA 11 means just click on this. So it'll just change the version. If you don't have the GPU means click on the CPU and uh, just run this command. So currently I am on this, just copy this and uh, I'm going to go for Anaconda prompt. If you install Python, go for a normal command prompt. That is enough. Run as administrator. So this will give you a window and uh, just paste this and run this command. I already installed all of these modules and it's working fine for me. So we don't need to install this again. So if you're done installing uh, PyTorch means you can check it whether it is uh, working or not. Go for Python. Currently I'm using Python 3.8. Import torch. So if it is imported successfully without errors means uh, you can proceed further. So try to check whether it is uh, importing without any errors. And after that we can just exit. Now, after this, we have to install this one. So this is uh, Coco API. This whole YOLO V5 is trained on uh, MS Coco dataset. That's why we have to install this. Again, just paste the whole command here. I'll just put this uh, command in the description so you can able to use this. After installing this one, you have to go to the uh, YOLO V5 directory here and uh, go here also so cd dot cd dot and cd yolo v5 master now here you have to install the requirements to install the requirements you have to do pip install r requirements dot text just run this it will just install all the required modules for yolo v5 so it will just uh, simple as that but before doing this step, you have to complete all these steps in order. Because if you miss any of this step means it will definitely show some errors, even including this command. So if you didn't run this command means it will also show some error. So definitely uh, run this. And after doing all the installation and the requirements, we can start using it. So currently I'm going to use the test images and uh, videos. So in this I have a data folder and here images. I'm going to use this bus image. And after that here I have a test video. So this is the input I'm going to pass to the uh, model. So to run the script, go to the corresponding folder which contains the YOLO V5 code and uh, run this command. Python detect.py source you just uh, specify the image folder so data slash images slash bus dot jpg I guess this is the correct one image yeah bus dot jpg run this So for initialization, this will take some time. So currently I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. So that is my uh, GPU. If you don't have GPU means it will try to use your uh, CPU to uh, run the model. So it will just uh, save you some time if you have the GPU, it's much faster. Currently the results saved to this runs folder. So in the meantime, we will also run another uh, test data that is video. Is it video or videos? Videos test dot mp4. Videos test dot mp4. So again, it will just uh, load the weights. So currently I am using a small YOLO V5. You can also change the model if you want. In the video, it's currently uh, 
getting frame by frame and uh, getting the predictions so here you can see how many persons uh, it's predicting like 10 persons one backpack three handbags one suitcase like that it will predict for the entire uh, frames in the video in the meantime we will go and uh, see the test image that we have run so this is the output we are getting so it detected the bus and it detects the person so this is just half person but it also detects so these are all some clear persons it's, it's detecting uh, very well and we are just using uh, the baseline model so you can also specify the models in the parameters so while mentioning the source you can also mention model and uh, specify the model you want to use there is like middle level and uh, uh, large model also uh, in YOLO V5 so that will just uh, increase the accuracy of the test prediction so currently we are just halfway there so this should take some time so again the results are saved to this folder and uh, you can see some of the results here and apart from this if you want to you do the object detection in real time you just uh, have this zero so this will just use the webcam and uh, render the image like in real time so this is like a real time object detection you can use without any modification so this is simple as that if you have multiple web webcams means you just have to change the numbers accordingly like zero or one so like that uh, you can just mention the source of the input data you can also specify the output you can specify the model and there are a lot more parameters for this YOLO v5 and you can uh, get all these things in this documentation now let's see the test result so this is the video you can clearly uh, see it right it's just a 23 second video but uh, this is a blurred video but we can uh, clearly see all the predictions like handbag suitcase it's actually detecting uh, very well even in the blurred format you can also try out with the uh, various uh, input images or uh, videos and check whether uh, how it's working so this is just a confidence score of that uh, particular class so these are all having high confidence score because it's near to the frame and uh, in the behind and the last uh, we are having like less confidence score like if you if you are not that much confident means uh, it's having like less score here and for this handbag and this handbag and all and uh, you can see how it's uh, working this is just uh, working very well for us and uh, all these uh, data are trained with the MS Coco data set that have like a uh, hundred different classes and if you want to train your own object detection model means you have to uh, just tweak little things and you can train your own model and uh, do the prediction so this is just the fastest object detection model you can ever get so I think that's it for the demo I think uh, in this video we have covered uh, everything uh, pretty much how to install all the dependencies for Ryolo v5 and how to run it and how to change parameters how to do it in real time everything we have covered if you want me to make more videos on this particular topic like custom object detection or uh, any other projects I will definitely make videos based on your uh, opinions and that's it guys if you didn't subscribe just uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out uh, any future videos and I'll see you guys in the next video